Hi! Oh my gosh, that sunlight just... Wow. Okay, so the sun keeps like going in and out, so the lighting might change a lot throughout this video, but welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm finally filming my long-awaited Heaven Marc Jacobs collection video. Um, I wanted to have this up way sooner, like I planned to have it up way sooner, but I just had so much issues with like storage and stuff, like on my computer and my camera, so I'm finally getting around to doing it now. So we're going to start off this video with an unboxing. Oh, gosh. So this is a bag that I actually got around Christmas. I got it like, I feel like I either got it like before or after Christmas. I bought it for myself. And I haven't opened it because I was waiting to film this video. We are now in February, so yeah. I don't even know if I want this bag anymore because like it's just been sitting in this box all the time. But we will start off with the unboxing and then we'll get to everything that I have. I have a large collection, so yes. And I will also try to link as much of it down below as I can. Okay. So... I got another like nylon shoulder bag. <laughs> I saw one of my TikTok mutuals post this bag and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get it because I really love red. Like I feel like the color red just looks really good on me, so I thought why not get a red heaven bag. <gasps> so pretty. It looks like this. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. I might wear it today. Wow. It's so cute. Um, I don't know if you've seen my other heaven video, but it's basically the same thing like the bags. They all come with like this little like care instructions thing. Um. But yeah, these are really spacious bags. Um, I have about two. This is my third one. So, obviously I really love these bags. Ah, this is so cute. Like, it literally goes with my outfit today. You can't see it. But, um, I'll insert a TikTok of my outfit somewhere in this video. But, yeah. This is really cute and I can't wait to wear it. I guess since it's already in front of me, we're just gonna start with like my jewelry first. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna start. I'm not wearing any earrings today, but we're gonna start with my earrings. Starting with my favorite earrings. These are like perfect every day. And they're the. I think they're called the gummy studs, but these were from like their second drop I believe and it's so cute I love these they're perfect for every day I love how they're like mismatched and they're really cute what I bought with that was the gummy necklace so this is the gummy necklace I don't wear this often I used to wear it more but I haven't been wearing this as lately but I love it I love like the beads, it looks really like handmade, like, it's really cute, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really love this design. It, like, kind of, like, sits on the neck like this, and I really like that. And then along with that, I bought, I think it's called the gummy belt. It's basically just a belt version of the necklace. So it looks like this. Let me zoom out more. So it looks like this and you know you can just like fasten it on different parts depending on like 
you know, how you want it to sit on your waist. You can even fasten it, like, in between the letters. And it just says, this and the gummy necklace just say heaven. Like, it just says heaven with these, like, letters. I like it because it kind of looks like candy to me. <laughs> and then, um, around that same time, I also bought these. These are, like, some of my favorite earrings as well. They look like balloons almost, like gummy balloons. It says, heaven today, hell tomorrow. It's pretty edgy, I guess. But, um, yeah, these are really cute. When I first got them, if you've seen my other video, you would know that I said that they were kind of heavy. And I guess I just got used to them because I can wear them with no problem now. Alright, so now we'll get into the more recent jewelry that I picked up from their drop, I think in September, I believe. But, um, we'll start off with these. I believe these are called the Jelly Hoops. They're sold individually, but I just bought both colors so that, um, I could wear them together. Like that. I love the design. Like, it just looks like candy. Like, I don't know. It's really cute. But I will say, these kind of hurt my ears because... I think that like this part that goes in your ear hole is kind of like big. I don't know if it's like, I don't know, it's just like not comfortable to wear these which is why I don't wear them often and I feel like it often like because of the weight of the bear they kind of just like slide like this so like this part will often like be like at my ear hole and it just like it's really uncomfortable. But other than that, I really like these, and you could actually change out the hoops of these, because if you take it off, if you unfasten this, it'll come out. So you can like put the orange bear on the purple hoop if you want, or you can wear the hoops alone, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's that. I really love these, I just don't wear them often, <laughs> because I just... It's just uncomfortable to wear. Now, I'll get into these earrings. These um, are just like hoop earrings. I really like these because I needed some silver jewelry really bad. Like, all of my like hoops were like gold. And I was like, I need some silver jewelry to go with like, I don't know, like my bags that might have silver accents on them. I don't know. I just noticed that this part here, like, came, it's like, a loose. That's not good. But, other than that, yeah, I really love these. These are perfect for, like, everyday wear. They are kind of, like, awkward to, like, wear with a mask. Like, when you're putting your mask on, they get, like, caught inside the earring sometimes. But, I really love these, and they go with pretty much every outfit that I wear. And to go with that, I bought the... Um, I think they're called like the best friend necklace. My boyfriend has the other half, but I really, really love this. It's so cute to wear every day. Um, the other, the other necklace to this has like a ball chain instead of like, just like link chain. But it's so cute. I love the little bear. It's so cute. Um, yeah, and it's just like goes with every outfit as well. I will say that Heaven's Jewelry is kind of like, I know a lot of people complain about it, but it's like, I think it's like brass or something like that, so it's not like high grade jewelry. I'm pretty sure if you want it that bad, you could probably like coat it with something if you're like allergic, but that's a complaint that um, I see a lot on TikTok if you're curious. but. I don't have any like allergy to their jewelry so I'm fine. So then I got the chain belt from that drop. I don't really know the name of it but it's so cute. This one has, it says heaven but um, or maybe this way you would say heaven. No. But yeah it says heaven and basically it has 
this long end here. I am so sorry about this lighting. Like, if it's really distracting, let me know. <laughs> and I would never film like that again. But, um, I'm filming this before work. But, yeah. So, basically, to wear this, you would just, like, fasten it. Like, however... That's really small. <laughs> but you would fasten it however you want it to sit on your waist. And then, this would be, like, on your waist. And this part would drop down. So, like that. And it has a cute little, like, two-headed bear charm. I really like this. And it's really heavy. I feel like every time I wear this, I, like play with the the longer end like when I'm wearing it I'll just like throw it out and I'll always be like oh this like feels like a weapon ouch because it does like I feel like if something were to pop off like I could take this belt off and just like but yeah I really like it and then um now I'm just gonna talk about the hair accessories that I have I have these two um crochet bear hair ties i don't wear them often because i don't even like do much to my hair maybe like when it gets longer i will start wearing it often but they're so cute um to just like add to like a bun or something because i have done that before um and they just say like heaven here really cute and then I have these bobby pins, they're just like regular bobby pins, but they're so cute. I don't wear bobby pins often, but I guess if I were to do an updo, I would just like secure like the strands that are like missing, I guess. I mean the strands that like stick out, like with these bobby pins if I wanted to, but yeah. I don't like that the, um, like the paint starts to like chip on some of them I don't know maybe that would happen to any other bobby pin but yeah that's kind of annoying because like when I wear these I would get like paint in my hair and I, I don't want that but yeah they're super cute <laughs> and there's four of them by the way I just like kind of put them together so I don't lose them okay now we are about to get into the nitty gritty so I have everything here <laughs> inside of this bag um, so I guess we'll just start with this bag this is I believe this bag I feature in my other heaven video I haven't seen them restock this bag but this is like one of their tote bags it's super cute I actually have one but this is this one that I'm showing here is my boyfriend's. Mine is just somewhere else, I don't know. But, um, yes, this is a good bag. It's just like, I don't really use it to, I don't use it outside anymore because I feel like it's kind of like bulky to use. It's like a really big tote bag. And, like, I don't know, I'd rather like have something more comfortable to wear, like, on my shoulders in this if I'm carrying a lot of things. But, yeah. Oh, and at the end, I will talk about, like, what was truly worth it and what isn't, and my recommendations if you want to get something from the brand. I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video, but I'm mentioning it now. Um, so we will start off with this bag. Um, this is the Nylon Messenger. I love this bag. It's the perfect everyday bag. I literally use it every day. My favorite bag. Um, I have some stuff in here, but it's pretty, like, spacious. You can carry a lot of things in here. And as you can see, I accessorize a little bit with, like, a little Kirby charm and my hand sanitizer. I just really like this bag. And obviously, all of their bags have their little, like, logo here. Their Heaven logo, which is really nice. Then now we're going to move on to the tote bag the nylon tote i got mine in the purple color um i i don't know i have like mixed feelings about this bag i personally love the bag like i think it's really nice it's just it doesn't stay on my shoulders like it every time i've worn this bag it's just too like bulky for my shoulders and it kind of just like slides off all day 
and I think that is so annoying. Like, I can't carry it. Like, this bag, I will say it's, like, a lot bigger than me. Like, um, bigger than my body. So, sometimes it does look kind of, like, silly when I wear it, but, um, I really like it. I feel like it's a good, like, work or, like, school bag. If you're using this to, like, travel, it won't carry that much. I've tried. It really, it doesn't carry that much stuff in it, so keep that in mind, but it's perfect for, like, work or school. I think the lighting is finally, like, settling down. And then another bag that I have here that I love is this, uh, the black, um, my launch over the bag. Um, okay, I say I love it, but I really don't wear this often. I don't know why, it's just like, I guess because I wear the messenger bag so much, I don't feel the need to carry this bag. And then I also was like, should I have two black heavy bags? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, um... I have been contemplating selling this for so long, still like, still don't think I should, so I'm gonna hold on to it, but you know, if I ever do feel the need to sell it, it will be on my Depop, but I don't know, maybe this is more of a summer bag for me, we'll see. We will see, we will see. And then obviously, you know this one if you see my other heaven video. I love this bag. When I got this, I literally wore it so much, like, it looks really dirty. You probably can't tell, but, like, it looks really dirty. I need to wipe it down. But I really love this bag. I accessorized with this, like, curvy hand sanitizer and this little, like, plushy keychain. Um, I did have another keychain on here at first. It left like a little bit of a stain, you probably can't see it, but yeah, I love this bag. I probably, I don't know if I'll ever let go of it. Even though I don't wear yellow often, I just, there's something about this bag I really love. Um, it's, the, the strap is more flimsy than the other ones I have because I wore it so much. If you don't really wear the bags as much, the strap is like more stiff. <laughs> But, yeah, I wore this one all the time, love this bag, great. <laughs> okay, so now we're done with the bags, we're gonna get into clothing, starting with the baby tees. The first one up is this one, this is my favorite baby tee out of all the ones that I have. Um, this is the Robot Girl baby tee, it was like a collab with the artist, I don't know their name, but... Um, I think they illustrated this robot girl, and I love that it's like, um, it's like a nylon patch that's like, like squishy, kind of like those stickers you buy that are like squishy, that's like the same vibe. I just love, 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 love this baby tee, it's so nice. Um, yeah, if I had to choose between all, if I had to choose between all of my baby tees, I would definitely choose this one then we have this baby tee this was the first one i got i believe and i don't know like i'm not the biggest fan of like tartan print but um i like it i just don't wear it often um it has yellow in it to match my bag um We'll see if I wear this more often this year, but I feel like last year I probably wore it a total of like two or three times. I really, I don't love love this shirt, but I do love it enough to keep it, if that makes sense. But I do know that's like one of their more popular designs. This is one that I don't see a lot of people talk about, but I actually really like. Um, it has like the cute like crochet two-headed teddy on it the only thing I don't like about this shirt is this I like don't I don't like that like I feel like it kind of like ruins the shirt um I feel like this like sorry if there's like stuff all over the shirt it's like lint and stuff but I feel like this illustration was enough like you didn't have to throw like the Marc Jacobs on the back 
Or like if you were gonna put it on there, like I just feel like that's just an awkward spot to put that. But um, yeah, it is. We're just gonna have to ignore that beeping. I don't know when it's gonna stop, but I was gonna say, oh, thank God. Okay, I was gonna say that the lettering on the back though, it's, it's supposed to look like crochet, like to match the teddy. I don't know, some people might like it, but I personally do not like it. Just kind of like, I don't know. Okay, so those are the, the baby tees that I have. Now we're going to move on to this crochet, or not crochet, knit dress that I have. Um, I really need somewhere to wear this because I do love this dress. I just, I don't think I wore it. Like, I probably wore it, like, twice. And not even, like, to go somewhere, just, like, wearing it to take pictures. But I really like this dress. I think it's so pretty I need to wear it somewhere and it comes with these long knit gloves it's perfect sometimes I wish they were fingerless gloves because when you wear these gloves you can't use your phone so they're not really practical but I really really do like these and you can also just like wear these on their own with another outfit you don't have to wear them with the dress so that's that if you do want to see like how this dress looked on me my I'm gonna I guess I might as well just link my previous heaven video in the description box and there I did a try on if you want to see how the dress looks on me but I really do like this dress Okay, and then we have this super cute bikini. Um, this is what it looks like. So I bought this last year. I didn't get a chance to wear it last summer, but I will have a chance to wear it this summer. And I'm so excited. Um, it's just really cute. I do have one slight issue with this. Not even slight, because I feel like it's kind of like a big issue, but you okay so these bathing suits came as a set so they're sized like based on they're the same size basically like you can't buy them separately so let's say you are a extra small on top and like a medium on the bottom like you would have to buy two of the bathing suits basically and these bathing suits, I don't know how much they retail for. Oh, they retail for $145. So this together is $145. So you would have to buy two of these if they're two separate sizes. Which I find kind of annoying because mine fits me. But I would like for my top to be more coverage. Like I feel like, I don't know, as, as, as someone who's not really a bikini wearer, this is like a lot for me. And like to have a top this small is just kind of like, mm. I don't know, I won't feel as secure as I would like to, but you know, it still fits me perfectly fine. It's just like, it's all about preference and I would prefer to have it fit a little more like coverage, but yeah, I really do like this. I think the, I think the design is really pretty, uh, kind of like tropical-esque. And it says like heaven. I love that it says like heaven on the butt. That's so cute. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> Definitely reminds me of like something Bella Hadid will wear. And I don't know if I'm just saying that because she's like kind of the face of heaven. But like it just gives me her vibes. Alright, so now we are on to like I guess home products. And I only have two slash, two slash three products. Let me see. But the first one is going to be this pillow. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me put it over. Ah, perfect. Put it over here. You can see it a little bit better. But, um, this is so pretty. It has the same, like, Robot Girl illustration on it. It's so cute. And then I think, like, um, all over the pillow, it says, like, Mark Jacobs. Like, these, like, cool letters. So, yeah. 
I think every drop they do is like a collab with the artist, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I just thought this illustration was so nice and I had to get this pillow when I saw it. I don't remember how much this retailed for, but I think it was like around $90. Um, I haven't been saying the price of everything. I kind of don't want to expose myself like that, but if you know, you know, this stuff adds up. I didn't buy everything at the same time, so yeah, I wasn't, I'm not rich, so I wasn't buying everything at the same time, but yeah, this stuff is pretty expensive if you add it up. I'm just not going to do that because I kind of don't even want to know myself, but yeah, this is a nice pillow. Um, it's not on their website anymore, but you might be able to find it either like on a resale website or like Essence, because Essence tends to have like their older stock. I don't know if they like send it to them, but yeah. So that's a pillow. Super cute. And then I have the two-headed bear. It's so cute. My boyfriend bought this for me as a gift. I love it. I like almost don't want to take the tag off of it. I probably should since like I want to like sleep with it and stuff. I'll take it off eventually but it's so cute. It's a collab with this brand. Stife Toys I think. But it's super super cute. I love it. Um, yeah I love the little bow. It's just really cute to me. I know some people would think it, it's like really weird but I think it's really cute so yeah. Um. Is it worth- no, I'm gonna get into that in a second. I'm gonna talk about the last item, which technically isn't an item, but it's this. <laughs> okay, so basically, this is the dust bag that that bear came in, but it doubles as a pillowcase. Isn't that cool? So technically, I have like two heaven pillows. And, um... I do want to say, I don't know if this is like the same dust bag that comes with all of the bears. I don't know if they would like recycle other prints like to make dust bags for the bears, but this is the one that I got. And I kind of was thrown off. Like when I opened the package, I thought they sent me the wrong item because they do sell bags that are this pattern. So, or this fabric rather. And I was like almost going to flip out, but then I realized it was just a dust bag that they put the bear in. So that's cute, and this is the tag for the bear. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's my last item. Here's a better view of this bag, if you're wondering. But I don't think you will be able to find this bag, unfortunately. I did have a giveaway for this bag because at the time I bought three, so I have one. My boyfriend has one, and then the winner of the giveaway. Now we'll get into what was worth the money and what I feel like wasn't really worth the money. Obviously the bear, I think it was worth the money because this could be a collector's item. Like this could, like I feel like this would be worth something, like worth a lot in the future. So it's definitely a collector's item to hold on to. And it came with a dust bag that doubles as a pillowcase. Like pretty pretty good to me I also feel the same about the pillow like it's great home decor and I really 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 love this design like I feel like it's just like one of those items that will be highly sought after in the future kind of like how like hysteric glamour like items are like sought after now as far as the bathing suit <laughs> I will admit, I don't think it was worth it, considering I wouldn't get much use out of this for the price point. Um, $145 plus like taxes is kind of high, so um, I wouldn't say that this is worth it, but it is a really cute swimsuit that I will use for years. Like I'm not one to buy a bunch of new swimsuits every year, like I reuse the same swimsuits. I have one other swimsuit that I've been using for years. So, I mean, I know the average person isn't like me and will probably buy multiple swimsuits, so this isn't really worth it. As for this dress, I think that it's worth it because it's just like kind of like a timeless style, like 
with the gloves like you don't see a lot of brands like selling stuff like this and this is like a high quality knit so it's not like cheap material and it will last you and I do want to note that like this item stretches it has really good stretch so let's say like you know you gain some weight you will still be able to wear your clothes which I think is pretty cool um, or like if you have kids and you still want to wear your clothes you know that would be pretty cool to still be able to wear this dress so I think that's a good thing to note as far as my baby tee I feel like these two are not worth it because they're kind of like basic they're kind of like basic baby tees like I would say this one is worth it because it's so like unique like you don't see stuff like this often like this one just has like a star quality to it and I feel like it's worth the money if I remember correctly their baby tees retail for around 75 to 80 dollars and I feel like this one like this one is just like worth that but these two are like basic pretty basic to me it's all about the name at this point like the brand name at this point because like I don't know notice how these two both say heaven Marc Jacobs on them and this one doesn't it just has the illustration to speak for itself and the only time it says heaven is on the tag and I feel like I like that a lot more I don't know could be me but I would say the other two are not worth it but this one is definitely worth it okay uh, as for the nylon shoulder bags I think they are 100% worth it because they're pretty versatile um, obviously get Obviously, go with the color that you wear more often because if you don't wear often, then it's not going to be worth it. But, um, like, out of all of these, I would say the red will be more worth it because I wear red all the time. Like, I wear red so much, so, yes. But, for the most part, these are all worth it. I'm glad that I have all of these. They're really cute. They hold a lot. Like, they hold a lot more than you would think. So, if you're thinking about it, go for it. As far as this tote, sorry. <laughs> as far as this tote, um, I would say it's not worth it unless, I don't know. Personally, it's not worth it because I just don't like wearing it. It always slides off my shoulders. It doesn't hold as much as I would like and it's just like, I don't know, I just don't think it's worth it. I guess for someone taller it might be worth it, but you know, if you're my size, I don't think this is worth it at all. Like, you can get better tote bags that will stay on your shoulder more. Like, I bought a, another, like, um, I don't know if it's nylon, but like another, like, kind of, like, plush tote bag from My Mom Made It, and it stays on my shoulder perfectly fine, and it's not, like, this big, so... You know, you can find other alternatives that are more comfortable to wear, so I would say this one is not worth it for me, but, um, yeah, I actually, I actually am selling this bag to my cousin because I just don't want it anymore, like, I just can't. <laughs> and for this bag, oh my god, if you are gonna get any bag from this video, this is the one that you should go with, and I do believe that it's available on Essence, maybe not on the Heaven Mark Jacobs website, but it's available on Essence. You should definitely snag this bag. Um, it holds a lot more than you would think. Obviously, it's not going to be able to hold, like, a laptop and stuff for, like, work or school, but I do believe it should be able to hold a tablet. It holds my books. Like, I have, like, a book that I read, so it holds that perfectly fine, as well as, like, other things that I carry, like, water bottles and stuff. So this is like the perfect everyday bag. Like I I love this bag. I wear it every single day. Oh, I definitely forgot to mention this. This is the well, it was the keychain until the like the keychain link 
wasn't like closed all the way and this eventually like slipped out of like the opening so i have to figure out how to fix that but this i don't know if it's worth it just for that reason like i feel like it's like a design flaw but it's super cute i mean i guess but i don't think this is worth the money because i'm pretty sure this cost me around like 90 some dollars but it's really cute same for these like these don't have any like design flaws that i know of but i just don't think they're practical for like to wear often not saying that you have to wear everything often but i just feel like i only i've only used these like maybe like once or twice the the year that i've had these like i don't know like they're not really like practical to wear in your hair every day unless you have like a really unless you like have a really eclectic everyday style i guess then it would be useful but for me personally although i do like to dress eclectic um every now and then these are no for me just because like i don't wear my hair just because like i don't wear these in my hair often i don't wear my hair up often i just don't think they're worth it also i don't think those are sold as a set so i had to buy those individually which was just not worth it these bobby pins were not worth it unless you have straight hair maybe it would be worth it because you could wear it every day for me no 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 and they're like really cheap no they're not worth it this chain belt i do believe i think it's worth it um you could you could style this really versatile it's pretty fun like i think it like adds charm to every outfit that i've worn it with it is pretty heavy like i mentioned earlier to wear but i think it's a really nice piece although like it's not like the highest quality like metal it's really nice same thing for the gummy belt it's just really fun like it can really add like a certain like flair to your outfits and i really really love this um if you want to see like all of like the older drop like items on me check out my previous heavy video i'm gonna keep mentioning it because i did a try on at the end and i'm not doing that right now unless you guys want to see me style the items you can let me know in the comments but yeah <laughs> same thing with this one um i think this is worth it every time i wear it, i get so many compliments people really love this necklace it's just it's so like kitschy <laughs> i don't know it's like really fun and I really love this. I really, really love it. These, on the other hand, I don't think they're worth it. They're just not comfortable to wear. Just like, I don't know. They're just not really comfortable to wear. Um, and then they don't come as a set. You have to buy them individually, which is kind of annoying. Because who is going to be walking around with one earring like this? Like, they should have just sold it as a set. But... That's kind of annoying, which is why I'm going to say these are not worth it. Alright, so... These, I I think they're 100% worth it, despite the, um... Despite this happening here, I don't like that, but these are worth it. I wear these very often. Um, I never thought I would be like a silver jewelry girl, but I am now. Like, I wear silver jewelry now. I might wear these today, actually, but... These are really fun. I love these. Easy to style. Same thing with the best friend necklace. I really love this item. Like, I wear it, like, every day. And it's just a cute, like, best friend necklace. Like, it's a cute take on, like, the best friend necklace. So, yeah. I really, really love this. It's so cute. Um. So, it's heavy here. I think this is 100% worth it. And... From what I saw, I don't think this was that expensive, so you could definitely, like, snag this. Or you and your friend could go half and half and get this pretty easily. I just love it. I don't know if it's in stock right now, but if it is in stock, I would say grab it. 
Okay, and same thing with these. I really love these. They're not practical for everyone, so I would say maybe they're not worth it in that sense that they're just not that practical. And they are very heavy. Well, I said that I'm used to it now, but if you're not used to wearing jewelry like this, they're going to be really heavy and uncomfortable. So I wouldn't say get these. I... It just like pains me to say they're not worth it because I love these earrings, but for you guys, I don't know if they will be worth it if you're not like, if you don't wear like jewelry like this. So, pass on these if that's not you. But these are 100% worth it. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I literally bought these for two of my friends. These are like one of the, the cheaper items on their website. I don't know if it's still there. But I believe for this, it was like $35. And they're 100% worth it. I literally wear them like almost every day. These are my favorite. <laughs> these are my favorite earrings. I actually might wear these instead. I wear these like almost every day. But they're really good earrings. And I love them. I guess if you were to get any jewelry item. <laughs> if you were to get any jewelry items, I would recommend these gummy studs and the best friend necklace so my top three if you were to get any items it would be the messenger bag super cute i love this bag very practical the gummy studs they're like the perfect earrings to wear every day spice up any outfit like the outfit i'm wearing now will go perfectly with and then the best friend necklace so yeah oh i definitely forgot to mention the items that i had but ended up selling because i just didn't like them that much so i'm gonna quickly go over those before i end the video and i will leave like pictures of them somewhere on the screen so the first the first one i'm going to talk about is the Mutant Bears baby tee, I just didn't like the design at all. I felt like the tee was like really boring to wear. Like, I don't know, the colors, just, it didn't look good on me. And I also felt like it was kind of a boring t-shirt for the price. And then the next item was the Psychedelic Knit Hat. It was cute in theory, but you literally have to have no hair for the hat to like sit properly on your head. Like when I wore it, it looked so dumb on me. Like, I don't know. You either have to have like straight hair or like really like short hair for it to like sit properly. Cause it just, it won't look like how you want it to look. <laughs> um, oh, and I had the Teddy Balloon heart earrings as well. I ended up selling those like a long time ago. They're basically the blue version of these, and um, they had, I don't know, I just sold them because like, I don't really, I didn't feel like I needed two earrings like that, and also I wear red more than I wear blue, so, yeah, but I basically had the same issue with them just being heavy and stuff, but those I didn't feel like they were worth it. Um, what else? Oh, I had the thermal like the long sleeve thermal i like the shirt but it just didn't fit my body properly and it kind of made me really like in it made me kind of insecure when i wore it because it like hid my curves it hid my figure completely and that's expected of having my mark jacobs because it's unisex clothing so the cuts are like pretty like unisex but I hated how it made me look and I, I had an extra small in that and it still fit like that so I personally didn't like that for me. What was the other item? I think that's it as far as like items that I got rid of. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate all the support that I've received from all of my platforms um it's just greatly appreciated and stay tuned for my next video